Bible says it is a fearful thing to stand before a holy God. The Bible says in Corinthians, it says, examine yourself to see if you be in the faith. Got a word of no warning today. A word of warning. A lot of people They'll say, well, I got saved. I got saved when I was five years old, or I got saved when I was 20, or I got saved when I was 30, and that's a wonderful thing. God bless you. But examine yourselves to see if ye be in the faith. You know, the scariest thing in the Bible to me is when Jesus said to those, he said, they will come unto me and say, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name? Have we not done these many great works in thy name? And you know what Jesus said? He said, depart from me, ye workers of iniquity, for I never knew you. You know, just because you do miracles even the devil will do miracles the antichrist is going to do miracles in the in the tribulation time you say well I got saved uh, uh, I had an experience an emotional experience no when I was young I went to a Merle Haggard concert and I had an emotional experience but I didn't get saved. You say, well, somebody said, one, two, three, pray after me. And I did, and he declared me righteous. He declared me saved. <coughs> you got to be born of the flesh, which we all were, if you're hearing me right now, you have been born in the flesh. But Jesus said you must be born again. You must be born of the Spirit. Now nobody knows. I can't tell by looking at somebody if they're saved or not. But I know that if you made a profession of faith, maybe even went to church for a little while, and now you're out in the world, you have no desire for God, you have no desire or anything of the things of God and you're not being chastised. You know, the Bible says that if you are without chastisement, you are bastards and not sons. I don't see how Christians can live their life in the world and say, I love Jesus, but if you mess with me, I'll smack you in the face. I don't understand that. I don't understand how they can understand the reality of hell. And it is a reality. There's one thing sure. More sure than taxes is death. You know the old saying, death and taxes. One thing that nobody prepares for. Oh, they might buy an insurance policy or they might... Uh, you know, sign their house over. As a matter of fact, we're doing that right now. We're doing a trust and putting uh, it in the kids' names so that when we die, if the Lord tarries and we don't go in the rapture, they won't have to mess with the lawyers. So it's not nothing wrong with preparing for that. But have you prepared for eternity? You know, I've talked to a lot of people and they said, bless God, I, I believe the King James Bible is the Word of God. Thank you. God bless you. I do too. Have you read it? Have you read it lately? Do you have any desire? Is there any desire of the things of the Lord? Examine yourself, friend. It is a fearful thing to stand before a holy God. We all will stand before the judgment seat of Christ. Every one of us. 
and we will have to answer for what we did in this body. You say, well, who has time to read? Well, who? You got time to watch that sports game you're watching? You got time to go out to eat? It doesn't take that long to read a little bit in that book. You better read it because you're going to be judged by it. Say, I don't believe. I don't believe the Bible. I don't believe in that stuff. Well, that has nothing to do with the fact that it is going to happen. You know, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God, capital W. And the Word became flesh and dwelt among us. In Revelation, he says uh, that he is faithful and true, and nobody knew his name, but his name was the Word of God. At the judgment seat, he's going to open up the books. Are you written in the book of life? Examine yourself and see if you be in the faith. You know, you can uh, be a backslidden Christian and still be a Christian. I understand that. But I think there's a whole lot of people. Some people, they read that Bible. You know, the only reason, especially on these platforms, the only reason they read that Bible is to argue their opinion with someone else. Look how much I know. Look how great my knowledge is of this word. I believe some of them are outsmarting themselves. The fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, long suffering. Do you have the fruit of the Spirit? Are you washed in the blood? Do you have a desire to serve God or do you just want to get out of hell free card I mean when I got saved I got saved because I was afraid of going to hell and that rightly so because I was dead on my way buddy every man for it is appointed once a man to die and after that the judgment you're not going to be standing up there reasoning with God well I don't believe that uh uh, all that Christian stuff. I don't believe that uh, you have to do this or that. I believe there's many ways to the, to heaven. No, no, there's not. Jesus said himself, I am the way, definite article. The truth, definite article. And the life, no man comes to the Father except by me. Examine yourself, friend. You might say, well, I, my mother was a Christian. I was brought up in a Christian home. That has nothing to do. Is there came a time when you have received the Lord Jesus Christ, when you personally have believed? And if you have, wonderful. If you are saved, I rejoice for you. But friend, are you living for the Lord? Guys, have a wonderful day. Remember to read those Bibles and pray without ceasing.